So today we are at Cherbourg, quite a big marina today, two part thing. First <laughs> off we're exploring, having a look around, seeing what it's about, but also this is potentially the first port of call for Albi's home, first port, I know, clever that, um, for Albi to come to when we start our adventures next year. Um, again, I'll put the clip up to explain what, what we're planning to do next year, but basically a big sale to the Med. Um, so this is where we're thinking of bringing her for six months for a big refit before we take on our sail to the Mediterranean. So a bit of exploring, a bit of boat stuff, checking out potential moorings and a few little uh, boat shops as well. <laughs> Do you love a good boat bargain? <laughs> bargain in these bargain. shops? Yeah, right. Maybe not bargain. <laughs> so let's check out what we can find. just been looking in a couple of chandleries mainly because we're planning to bring Albi here obviously next year and we just wanted to see what sort of places there were. I'm extremely excited because the one thing that I've not been able to get since we've been in France is a catalogue for a chandlery. I've and never seen someone so excited about a catalogue. So many different things for the but I can sit and read through this for hours picking everything we need for Albi. Well it keeps him busy. Exactly. <laughs> Should we go to Argos now get another catalogue? <laughs> This is my equivalent of the Argos catalogue. Do they even do Argos catalogues anymore? I don't know, but I'll have it for years and it'll just, <laughs> it'll just stay on the table in pristine condition. No, it won't. <laughs> okay, let's go and find somewhere for lunch and keep exploring. We still haven't found the visitor moorings where we're going to be based. We think it's on the other side of the marina. Yes. So we're going to keep looking and then we're going to head into town and sort of show you what Sherbourg's got to offer. just on our way into the town going through this lovely little park I thought it was about time for a fact so historians actually dispute when this town was first founded but they think it's been traced back to the Vanelli tribe from 52 BC that settled here during the Iron Age and they were a Gaelic tribe and it wasn't made a really big port until Napoleon the first took it over as a military port after the French Revolution so I can't find that much history about the place other than its military history, but we're going to have a wander through town and see if we can see anything. And you probably just saw over my shoulder. I think Matt's taken more photos of trees. <laughs> so you'll have to check out our Instagram for the photos that Matt gets to take. Napoleon's time the town had been fought over quite a lot because of its importance right on the top of the coast and in the late 1600s Vauban offered to strengthen the fortifications of Cherbourg and to build two sea walls so we've done a video about Vauban before so if you want to know any more information about him check out our previous video
described Cherbourg as one of the keys to the French kingdom. And at the time, it was the second largest artificial harbour in the whole world with the largest castle, one of the largest castles and strongest fortifications in the whole world. Unfortunately, none of it remains. And most of the city was actually destroyed during World War II. So as you can see over our shoulders, it's quite uh, 1950s architecture. Modern for the time. Yes. <laughs> My research for this video I didn't realize that Cherbourg is the place that the Titanic made her final stop before heading over to America. Matt didn't know this fact but I thought it was quite interesting and nearly 300 people boarded the boat from here. Yeah, an unknown fact about the Titanic was actually that it had hull damage when it left Southampton so when it came here to pick up passengers nor the dog it, um, it had hull damage and was taken on water in one of its bows in its bow so the problem when it hit the iceberg was already a known before it actually hit interesting Okay, so that's probably going to be the end of our vlog here. Um, we've had quite a nice walk around Sherbourg, nice cup of coffee. Uh, got our catalogue, very exciting. That's Matt's afternoon sorted. That'll be featuring heavily in our blog, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so we've obviously picked our spot. This is where we're going to come. Uh, we're hoping to leave the Netherlands in November. So we'll be here for six months and obviously we're going to bring you guys along for the whole journey and all the way around to the Mediterranean next year. Yes. Quite exciting, first leg about to start. Um, not sure where we're going to be next week, as always, but um, thank you so much for watching. Um, consider subscribing to the channel, it's really helping us grow, getting us ready for next year. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, hopefully you'll check out Sherborg. Give us a little ring of the bell to notify you when our video comes out, and we will see you all next Friday. Bye! See ya!